So there's a whole new series of receptacles and also light switches that have come out from Leviton where they've basically taken the idea of a Wago lever nut and integrated it directly into their devices. And one of those devices is this one right here. This is the Leviton Decora Edge. And so we're gonna be taking a good hard look at this. We're gonna take a look at exactly how it works, the features of the device. And we're also gonna go over, is this the future of receptacles and light switches? And at this point, are they dependable? So let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's go. And this is essentially what happens when you take a regular receptacle and you take a Wago and you integrate them together, you get the new Leviton Decora Edge. And what you guys all care about is over here on the sides where you see these levers. There's no terminal screws at all like you would normally see on the side of a receptacle. Every single one of them, including the ground, is a lever nut essentially that's built into this receptacle. So since we don't have the terminal screws and we just have lever nuts, you don't need to use a screwdriver. With the lever nuts built into the receptacle itself, it's really as easy as lift it up, take your wire, stick it into the hole in the back, and then flip down the lever and now it is stuck in the place. That wire is now connected to the receptacle. So that's how it works, but there are also some important features on this that you would need to know if you were going to use this. So as you can see, this is very tall. And the reason for that is they've got this little extra piece of plastic that's up here on the top, also down here on the bottom. These are able to be broken off, but the reason that they're there is if somebody has cut a hole in the wall that is just too large, and instead of having to use spacers or something like that in order to pull that receptacle out to where it's flush with the wall, with these being a little bit taller, it makes it so that when you insert this into that hole, even if it's overcut by a little bit, it's not a big deal because this will make up for the hole being too large and it will still be able to set up against the wall. However, in most cases, you will need to break these off, otherwise they're going to extend out too far and the majority of your cover plates will not fit it. So you would have to remove them and it really is as easy as just taking a pair of pliers and you just bend the plastic back and forth and eventually it breaks off. All right, so now that we've got those wings off, as you can see, it is the exact same height as our standard receptacle. So now this would fit in your standard box. This is also tamper resistant, so it will comply with codes as now tamper resistant receptacles are required in most situations now. If we flip it over here to the back, one thing that is nice is they designate exactly what wire goes where. So you've got hot, you've got white, and then of course it says green or bare wire. Now, even if you're somebody that can't read, what's nice is everything is color coded. So you've got your two blacks on this side, which of course are always gonna be your hot wires. You've got your green colored lever for your ground. So that's where your green wire or your bare copper wire would go. Something that's interesting about this, this is probably the first time I've ever seen where the ground is on the same side as the hot wires. Typically, it's over here on the neutral side. But as you can see over here on the neutral side, both of our neutral levers are both white for your white wire. If we flip it down here to this bottom corner, you'll see this little indentation here. That is a strip gauge. So you can take your wiring, stick it down in that strip gauge, and it'll show you exactly how much of the insulation needs to be removed in order for it to fit into these holes here in the back perfectly. If you remove too little insulation, you may have connectivity issues. And if you remove too much insulation, you may have some bare copper sticking out the back, and that is never a good thing. I will say that the lever function itself feels fairly robust. The levers themselves, though, feel like they could be made a little bit stronger. They're not awful but I feel like they could be a little bit more heavy duty. But as far as when it comes to opening them, there is some pretty decent resistance there. So that does tend to make me believe that since I'm creating quite a bit of tension by opening this, that the grip on the wire is probably pretty good. Also, when you flip the levers down, they make that loud clicking noise. That way it kind of gives you a snapping audible sound that lets you know that it's locked into place. This new Leviton receptacle is very much a residential grade receptacle. It is not up to a commercial grade receptacle. I'd be really interested to see if they ever come out with more of a commercial grade receptacle 
that would have more of those heavier components on them. However, I do think that they are trying to focus on the DIYer here with this because they are just making everything so simple for DIYers to make sure that your wiring is done correctly and to make sure that when you go to make connections that you're not making connections that are ultimately going to fail. One of the other things that I do really like about these receptacles is since we've got these lever nuts here on the side, we don't have any open terminals. We don't have anywhere where there could potentially be arcing because of exposed metal. Everything is internal. So from a safety standpoint in that regard, this is a lot safer than your standard receptacles. But with your standard receptacles, if they're installed properly and everything is tightened down, there really isn't a whole lot of chance for there to be issues to begin with. But again, I think they have the DIYer in mind to make as safe and easy receptacle as there can be to install. Now something else that they've integrated into this that I think is a fantastic idea is do you see this little notch that's up here? And then on this other side, you've got a point same thing down at the bottom, you've got a point on this side and then a notch out on this side. Well, what that's for is if you are installing these in say like a double gang box, when you put your receptacles into that box, if you put them up right next to each other, that notch will fit right into that groove between the two devices. See how they interconnect then? And that's to make sure that they are both level with each other and providing the proper spacing. And let's say you have a double gang box where you want to have a receptacle, but you also want to have a light switch in it. Well, they've got this light switch here that's just like the receptacle. They've also got those notches and those nodes on them to where when you put these together, they also integrate together perfectly. So it's a small thing, but I thought that was a pretty cool concept that I personally hadn't seen before. And I can see how that could definitely come in handy just to make your installation easier. All right, so I've got some wiring here. So now we're gonna have a competition. So I'm gonna take a standard residential grade receptacle and we're gonna put it up against the new Leviton Decora Edge. Now, I think we all know that the edge is gonna be faster to wire up, but we're gonna time exactly how much longer it takes me, and I will try to go as fast as I can to wire up this standard residential grade receptacle. Now, for each of these, I will not be installing them actually into the box. It's gonna be just about wiring them up and how quickly I can do it, but I will already have my insulation removed from the wires. All right, so up first, we'll wire up this residential grade receptacle. and done. Now I'm sure I didn't break any records there, but I did still wanna make sure that I was installing everything properly. So you may have seen me trying to turn hooks to make sure that they would be wrapping around the terminal screw in a clockwise direction. So I wanted an accurate representation, but I don't think that that was too bad for someone who doesn't do this on an everyday basis. All right, so now let's see how quickly I can connect the new Leviton edge. And done. Okay, so this is way, way, way faster. In fact, just barely over an entire minute faster. And these results weren't exactly shocking because the Wago lever nuts, where this gets a lot of its ideas from, is a lot faster to install as well than your traditional wire nut. Now, when it comes to the residential grade receptacles and using the backstabbing technique, I have been able to pull the wires out of the back if I pull hard enough. But some people are gonna think that the connections on this new device are just like backstabbing. So I wanted to do a comparison and see if I could pull the wire out of the receptacle. Now, in the beginning of doing this, I didn't think I was going to be able to, but then I started being able to see some bare copper coming out of the back of the receptacle. So I knew I was making progress. So while it did take more strength and it did take a little bit more time, eventually I was successful in being able to pull the wire out of the back of this new receptacle. Now, is this me just trying to say that this is trash now because I was able to pull the wire out of it? No, not at all. Obviously, nobody or Casper the Ghost is not going to be in your wall pulling with a good amount of force trying to pull a wire out of the back of one of your receptacles. The purpose of this was to kind of compare and contrast between backstabbing and then also using these new connectors on this new receptacle to see which one holds the wire better. With the standard residential grade, it really wasn't that difficult for me to pull it out. Whereas with this new receptacle from Leviton, 
it was quite a bit more difficult to pull it out, which just kind of shows and illustrates that this does have a much, much better connection than your standard backstabbing on your standard receptacle. So I will say that I was actually pretty impressed with this newer device and how well it did hold onto the wire, but I still think that the commercial grade receptacles when it comes to actually holding onto the wire and therefore I think making more connection with wiring, I think the commercial grade receptacles still are superior in that way. So my summary and personal opinion of this new receptacle by Leviton is I was actually pleasantly surprised. I thought it would be more of a gimmick, but after looking at it, installing it, doing the little bit of testing that we did, while we didn't do any electrical testing as far as testing its capabilities as far as amperage goes, this is UL listed, so they have done that. But overall, I liked it. Also, keep in mind, this is brand spanking new. This has only been out for about a week or two as of time of filming this. So there may be some things that they're going to adjust or improve on to make these better. But my mind is completely open and I'm genuinely curious. What do you guys think about this? Do you think these are a good idea or bad idea? Do you think this is the future? Let me know down in the comment section. I'm really interested to hear what you have to say. Now, regardless if you think these are a good or a bad idea, Leviton has also made with the same exact idea the single pole and they also have three-way switches that are available with the lever nuts. So I'll be doing a video on these as well and why I think these are actually better right now than the receptacles. So once that video is done, I'll post it right over here that'll take you directly to it. And if you don't see that video yet, until then, I'm allowing YouTube to pick whatever video they think that you wanna see next. So I really hope that you found this video to be interesting. And if you did, if you could do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button right down below. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave those down in the comment section. And I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.